and welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Jasmina, my daughter's name is Liv and she is three months old and I just started this channel. Basically I do weekly vlogs and I just chat about mom life and yeah so feel free to subscribe to my channel, I really really appreciate it. Today's video I'd like to talk about breastfeeding. It has been the single most difficult journey for me. Um, obviously I've never breastfed before, it's my first baby and I thought I would give a little bit of a backstory. Maybe you guys can share some tips and tricks because I'm having a super duper hard time breastfeeding. Um, she cries, all, anyway. <sighs> I gave birth on October 16th and right away we did um, skin to skin. She was born very healthy, thank God, and so they put her on me right away and they encouraged for me to breastfeed her right away. And even though there was not really any milk coming out at that point, it's more just for the comfort, for them to latch and to begin that journey. And of course, this is for anybody who actually wants to breastfeed. If you do not want to breastfeed in your formula feeding or your mixed feeding, this is really a no judgment place. Um, I. Everyone has their own journeys as mothers and I respect all decisions. But for me personally, I wanted to breastfeed. And from the beginning when I was in the hospital, she would latch but she wouldn't have this deep latch where she would continue to suck. And so she would not get enough milk or she would not get enough nutrition and that freaked me out. As a first time mom, um, I thought to myself, okay like I just gave birth my kid is already small because I gave birth at 37 weeks and I and I was thinking to myself she's missing nutrition she's gonna lose too much weight and Liv was crying and crying and crying so I insisted from the very beginning that we give we supplement with formula and I fought very hard for that at the hospital because I was very adamant that my kid is not getting enough nutrition and now that I think about it, I think to myself, had I put more effort into continuously trying to get her to latch on the breast, perhaps this would not be happening right now. So basically, um, they we supplemented with formula, we came back home, and then she went ahead and unfortunately she had jaundice and had to return to the hospital for treatment. When we returned to the hospital for treatment, in order for her to get the maximum time under the light, um, I pumped and we gave her breast milk through a bottle. Again, they offered for me to give the breast milk through a syringe, I guess to not uh, confuse the baby into accepting the, the bottle and not the nipple, but I said no, I already, my, my child was, I felt that she wanted, she needed some sort of comfort and so I felt the bottle was the best option for her. And when I got home, I was just so tired as any new mom of course is and I tried to get her to latch and she'd latch but then she'd get so frustrated because she didn't want, the milk was not flowing as fast as it does when you give it in a bottle. And so I would often just say, you know, just give her the bottle, I'll pump and I'll give her the breast milk through the bottle. Fast forward all this time, I, I you know, life happened and then I said, okay, I stopped pumping. And I'm going to be quite honest with you, I feel like I took it for granted, my milk supply. I was producing about like 60 to 80 mLs per breast every two hours, sometimes even more. And so I think I took it for granted. I thought to myself, well, it's not going like, to diminish if I don't pump maybe every two, three hours or whatnot. It did diminish to where now I'm trying to relactate. And I'm starting with a drop and now I'm getting about 15 ml in the morning, but it decreases from there uh, throughout the day. And just the other day, Liv, she latched on the breast for like a half a second. Then she unfortunately freaked out because I guess the milk flow was not there. And so she got really upset and she just screams bloody murder and my heart breaks every single time um, every single time that she cries when I offer her the breast because I feel like it should be something of a comfort to her um, a bond between us and instead it's just this 
this like traumatizing experience practically for her or well at least I feel like I'm traumatizing her and I've literally done everything like we do skin to skin I love to take baths with her I, I don't know if any anyone else has done this but I love to take baths with her I think it's such a cool moment for us and she's so happy in the bath and in the water and so we bond as such so obviously in the bath I'm topless and so we kind of bond together skin to skin like that um, we're always cuddling and we're always near each other we're I mean I'm with her all the time and so for that uh, I don't think that that's the problem I sincerely think that she just got so adapted to the nipple of the bottle that and so comforted with that and the flow and the the amount that comes out that she just wants nothing to do with the nipple and the breast like she's just done and it's so so hard and I and I don't know I joined this relactate group and they're like if you do skin to skin and you offer the breast in a sleepy um, sleepy state if she's in a sleepy state in a dreamy state perhaps she'd accept it as some sort of comfort so I tried that yesterday and that was hilarious because as she's falling asleep I offer her the breast and she literally shut her like clamped her mouth shut so she just did not want it and that ended that story so yeah so this has been so far my journey um, prior to pregnancy and prior to delivering Liv, I never thought that breastfeeding would be so important to me. Um, and I remain very much an advocate for mothers who decide to formula feed, mix feed, breastfeed, whatever the case. Like I said, it's a no judgment place. I do not judge anybody that every, we all have our own journeys and our, and our own decisions to make. But like I said, for me, I realized that it was important to me and I never thought it was it really actually surprised me how important it is to me and so now I'm in the process of relactating I literally pump every two three hours and it's it sucks because I pump I pump I pump and where I used to take it for granted like 60 ml just used to come out like in two seconds it doesn't come out anymore like that and it pisses me off like literally pisses me off because I think to myself like Jasmina, you had this, you had your milk supply there, why didn't you continue it? But as I said, life goes on and you know, and then of course, now I'm very lucky that my baby lives, she sleeps more consistently through the night and so I'm a lot less tired in the morning and had that been the case at the beginning, I think maybe I would have had more energy to put towards breastfeeding. So. I went ahead and I invested in, the, in a Spectra S2 pump and apparently it feels more like the baby suckling on the breast. So hopefully that works because as of right now I'm renting this Amida hospital grade pump but the flanges are not working well and it's, it's just a bordello honestly. I'm taking fenugreek, I know there's a lot of mixed reviews on that, some people say that it actually decreases the milk supply, others say that it enhances the milk supply, all I know is that I smell a maple syrup and it's disgusting, but that's about it, I haven't noticed really an increase because of the fenugreek, I really think it's because I've been pumping more frequently, but it's been a good week and I would have thought that my milk supply would have went up significantly since then and it has not but many people tell me that they've been pumping for like two three one month and they're still getting just the slightest bit of an increase if that so yeah so I thought I would share my breastfeeding journey it's 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 been a struggle from the beginning and I think when you have your first baby everything is new to you and you're a little bit overwhelmed, at least myself. Um, I was very, very overwhelmed with so much love but so much fear at the same time. I was afraid to do anything wrong and I wanted everything to be perfect for Liv. And as you adjust into this routine of things, you start to maybe ground yourself a bit more and say, well, I got this, like I, I know what I'm doing now. And yeah, and so I've, I've been trying to offer her, to offer the breast more 
but I'm wondering if it's even going to work anymore. I'm starting to think perhaps I need to accept the fact that she might never accept the breast anymore. And if that's the case, it really does make me sad, but um, at least maybe I can offer her breast milk through the bottle. So I'm hoping that um, by pumping, eventually my supply will increase and I will get a good amount of milk that we can maybe eliminate formula feeding altogether, or if not, at least um, give her bottles of breast milk throughout the day and formula maybe once or twice throughout the, throughout the night or the day, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm also looking into SNS. It's basically, I feel like it's almost tricking the baby, honestly. It's just like this tube that kind of you tape it to your breast and as you're putting in the, the breast, you're putting in that little tube on the roof of the baby's mouth and so they're kind of sucking and they're sucking out the formula of the in the bottle or if it's your breast milk in the bottle. And it helps to maybe have the baby breastfeed because the milk flow is there. Um, but I don't think that that's going to help me because she won't even latch to begin with. And so, I don't know. I don't know what to do, honestly. I just figured that I'd come on here and tell you my breastfeeding journey. Um, maybe you guys can share some tips and tricks in the comments below. And of course, again, no judgment from anybody. We all have our own journey as moms. And I hope that we all can respect one another and whichever choices you make is the right choice for your baby or your children. And so, yeah. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to Jasmine and Live.